disclaimer. <laughs> you just deleted it. What's that? <sighs> now I know you're lying. Everybody's got a routine to my prerogative. He's not lying. Oh, they do. Everybody's talking all this stuff about me. Why don't they just let me live? Doing? I am returning my damn essence to the damn fabric of the damn universe. So when I was a kid, there was always this like small part of me that wished one of my parents would die, just so I could like have like a thing. She got a glimpse of who you really are. You can't do that with women. Trust me, it's never good. Mama, what the hell are you doing? Ah! Ah! Mama, close your mouth ah! before I close the door. Oh, sweet blood, Jesus. <laughs> and the Emmy goes to Eugene Levy, Shits Creek. <laughs> Told you I was good. Uh, I guess it's kind of ironical that the straightest role I've ever played lands me an Emmy for a comedy performance. Um, so now I seriously have to question just what I've been doing for the past 50 years. Uh, but that for another time. I first want to thank my darling wife of 43 years, Deb Devine, for all the love, support, and sage counsel over the years. Wouldn't be up here without you, Deb. I love you. I want to thank our amazing uh, production team, uh, terrific writers, um, an exceptionally talented cast who I loved working with for six years, uh, including Emmy winner, uh, my dear friend of many, many years, Catherine O'Hara, um, who evidently can make anyone she works with look good. Um, and as a dad, getting to work on camera for six years with both my kids, Daniel and Sarah. Hi, honey. Um, such a joy. Love you both and could not be prouder. And um, that brings me to my multi-Emmy-nominated partner, uh, Daniel Levy, who took, took our, our show that we came up with and brilliantly guided it to this little Emmy party tonight. So thank you, son. Thank you, Academy. And to my fellow Emmy nominees, it was an honor to be in your company. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, they're going crazy in Canada. There, there's chaos on the streets of Saskatoon. You know, they say that behind every great sitcom is room full of sweaty writers ordering lunch. 